Hey everybody, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I've got a couple of packages here, so let's do a mailbag. Uh, this first one is from AliExpress, and I think I know what it is. Um, I've been generally pretty disappointed with the things I've gotten from AliExpress lately, uh, but this seems kind of hard to screw up. These are uh, UG little um, metric screws, and I needed some smaller metric screws kind of to have on hand. I don't have a ton of metric stuff, um, so... I did buy a set of some of the bigger ones a couple weeks ago. And so this is just a little set of metric screws, good for laptops and uh, things like that. It's so just a variety. We've got, what is it, 10 different sizes, uh, 25 pieces each. So these were a couple of bucks free shipping from AliExpress. I'm sure they're not fantastic, but they will get the job done. <clears throat> Next up, we'll grab an Amazon one. And despite the fact this is from Amazon, I don't really know what it is. Uh, off the top of my head, so we'll see. Um, come on, come on, trying to keep my address hidden. Still no, oh, okay, so these are, okay, there are a couple different things in here. These are, I feel like there should be more of these, maybe not. Um, these are 16 by two LCDs. I really do feel like there should be more. Uh, there's four of them here, let me just double check. There's only four of them. I'll have to check to see if I ordered more. But um, these are 16 by 2 LCDs, and they should be the ones with the I squared C adapter on the back. So here you go. I've got four of them, and let's see if it says the color. Uh, these are the blue screen ones, and these are really common. Um, one of the things I'm doing, either me or Simple Electronics, one of us will show a video of how to make these things work better with 3.3 volts. Um, they always say, hey, they're three volt compatible. And what they mean by that is that they're three volt compatible in terms of the logic. So you can connect the I squared C pins uh, up to something like an ESP32, but they still expect to have five volts of VCC to them. So I'm hooking these up to a bunch of ESP32s and uh, there's a little modification you can do to this thing that will allow it to work a lot better on the uh, three volt systems. Now one thing I think is interesting and it could be problematic, but these pins uh, come way through here. The other ones I have don't stick out as far. So I could see that being a positive thing if you needed to connect to them, but right now that's kind of, uh, I think that's gonna get in the way. My cat, <laughs> is uh attacking a chair but um the thing with this i think it's going to make it harder for me to countersink this so we'll have to see um anyway there's that and then i have some of these pre-made dupont wires and this is for actually hooking these screens up uh so what i wanted is now it is a little annoying that these things have ground at the top so i'll be putting red toward the ground i guess but uh, i wanted some pre-made dupont wires for hooking these screens up. And so this gives me a little bit of an option without having to sit there and crimp these things. Uh, so just a little simple wires. And I think I got two 10 packs of these. All right, next up, let's go ahead and do the other Amazon package uh, right over here. And, ah, uh, okay, this makes more sense. So for some reason they separated my screens. I thought I ordered more than just the uh, the four of them here. So I have a total of, well, okay. I have a total of what? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 screens. And that's what I needed. Now I'm a little annoyed that I'm gonna have to cut all these uh, pins on them to, uh, to um, flush mount them, but that's fine. Uh, and so then next, let me, let me get my board and I'll explain what I've got going on. I pointed this out in another video, but I figure since this is a new video, I'll go ahead and uh, and show you. So what I've got are, um, I think there's a 50 pack for $6.99 of this connector right here. And so uh, thanks to some tutelage and a lot of work from uh, Simple Electronics, he was able to put together a PCB that will allow me to basically uh, put this connector on a PCB and then connect the screen and some other connectors that I need so that everything can be run from these ribbon cables. So if you picture it, uh, well, yeah. so I've got these connectors, I'll open it. Um, yeah, I don't need to open it. So I've got this connector on the board like this and it will go to here like so. And then the screen will hook up this way and then my buttons will hook to the rest of the PCB and I'll have a nice neat little, um, gadget so 
Anyway, and the idea will be that the button and the screen will stay connected to the enclosure because they're very rarely going to need to uh, get pulled out. But this might need to get pulled out from time to time. And so I wanted the ability to just disconnect it with a single cable and not run a whole bunch of individual DuPont wires around. And last but not least, I have what I think is a bunch of stuff from AliExpress. And uh, I started off the video by saying I've been just having some problems with AliExpress. The, uh, you know, everything I've gotten in has just been kind of crap. This uh, enclosure that I got was kind of crap. These, uh, I got these little pokey thingies and they're bent and just real junk quality. I've had some issues with some EEPROMs I've ordered. My address came up on the screen, so I had to uh, I had to stop. But uh, I've had a problem with some of the random things that I've ordered lately, and so we'll see how this stuff goes. I think one of these items in here has a problem also, but we'll see. Um, so this is, okay, these are zip sockets, which these did not come padded at all. Um, you know, a little bit bent there. Let's pull this out for a second. So ZIF stands for zero insertion force. And, uh, you know, before they had ZIF sockets, you just had to kind of shove a chip in a socket. And uh, it's not too bent, but it's definitely, definitely bent. There was basically no protection on this thing. Uh, and I am doing some stuff with EEPROMs where I would like to be able to, um, to use this socket on a custom PCB. Yeah, those are all jacked up. And you know, the thing is like, I understand things get damaged in shipping, but there was just basically no attempt to protect this thing whatsoever. Uh, these things were just thrown in the package. And uh, the other issue I'm having, and I'm gonna do a whole video about this, but the other issue I'm having is they're, they're bundling these things together, which I'm sure saves them some on shipping. But they're, uh, one, they're not taking any care when they bundle them together. But two, when there's a problem with one of these things, it holds up all of them. So this stuff came in way later than it was expected to come in. So, uh, but anyway, I should talk about these. These are three zip sockets in three different sizes. Uh, this one in particular, I needed the one with the narrow gap between them for some of these EEPROMs so I can do uh, single width and double width. Uh, dips and so I highly doubt this is by 3m uh, with stripped out screws if you look at that those screws are all stripped out and junky maybe I'll replace them with the other ones I got uh, but again you know just bent pins and stuff like that that just really aren't necessary so I got them in three sizes this looks like 40 I would guess 28 and I don't know 16 or so uh, pins and this was obviously just single wide so uh, a couple of zip sockets they were a couple bucks a piece um, let's go to this one next Okay, so when I did go on my AliExpress bender, one of the things I did was look for anything that was a kit that was free shipping. So, uh, you know, some of these things look a lot more impressive online than they are in real life, but uh, these kits are kind of hard to, to beat for this kind of thing. So they were like two and three bucks a piece. I looked for kits that were under $5. Uh, so these are various, you know, DuPont JST style connectors. Uh, that go on to PCBs and stuff like that. And then you just, they come with the shell. So I could either take uh, just this four wire thing. I think it's 2.5 millimeter spacing. So I could either do something like this and just put it on there that way, or um, more likely I can use these keyed connectors. So the, the, the only way it's gonna go in, which I should grab a four, uh, the only way it's gonna go in is if it's facing the right direction, which is kind of nice for something like this. It is, I'm sure these are gonna be a little bit of a pain to crimp. Uh, so I'll have to maybe even get a different set of crimpers for them. But the idea was that I went ahead and got some various things like this. I think this is basically the same kit in, uh, in no, okay, so these are a different kind of shell. These are, so these would be more PCB mount and then something like this um, is similar to what battery packs have, <clears throat> excuse me, where you, uh, you know, you put them together kind of in midair at the end of wire. So these things were about two or three bucks a piece and <clears throat> excuse me, uh, two or three bucks a piece. And I thought it was kind of nice to have, just to have these connectors if I ever need to, to make a cable or something like that. It would cost me a lot more to get something like this from Amazon. This one I'm already frustrated about because I know that I ordered the one that I wanted. Um, and a couple times I've had things come in that are just different than what I've ordered. And um, this is an example of that. Uh, this took forever to get here, and I wanted a 300 millimeter uh, caliper. Now, most of the calipers that you get from Harbor Freight and stuff like that are gonna be 150 millimeter, and sometimes I have to do some bigger things. And so I wanted 300 millimeters. And I can't guarantee that's what this is, but uh, 
I've been looking for a 300 millimeter. I spent a lot of time deciding which one I wanted. And then lo and behold, they send me a 200 millimeter caliber. So um, not that it's not usable. I don't know that it's usable, but um, you know, I'm kind of bummed about that because I specifically ordered the 300 millimeter and this thing is just crap. Um, you know, I mean, look at the jaws. Like, look how easy those jaws move and stuff like that. That is just a, just a terrible disappointment. I mean, just the fit and finish on this thing is garbage. Uh, it's fine. Like, you know, I'm going to use it for, um, for the laser. Uh, but I mean, it doesn't even really come together at the end. I don't know if you can see that. I mean, yeah, you can see the light through it. Uh, and did they bother giving me a battery? I don't think so. There could be one stuck in there. Hold on, let's see here. Oh, carbon fiber composite. Carbon fiber composite. What do you guys think? You think that's carbon fiber? That does not look like carbon fiber to me. Um, there is basically no strength to it. So does this come out this way? Yeah, so they did not give me the battery and it says 2032. Wow, that, that looks kind of small for 2032. Let me grab a battery. Okay, so I don't know what happened because I clearly tested these batteries before I put them in the bag, but all of a sudden I had, including one that I just took out of the package, I had five bad 2032 batteries and it turned out the sixth one was a charm. So in fact, I took one of them out of the same package as the other one and one read 3.2 volts and one read 0.6 volts. So very weird, but anyway, um, this thing does function and uh, you know, I don't know how well that scale is, but it does function and you know, it's a caliper. I really wanted the 300 millimeter caliper to measure some bigger things, but this will get the job done. Uh, I just hate for as long as I waited for it, I would have much rather had the 300 millimeter one. So uh, anyway, this is the caliper from AliExpress. And uh, hey, I appreciate you guys watching. What's been your experience with AliExpress? Because I've placed something like 500 orders there over the last six years or so. And um, in general, I hadn't had any problems until the last couple of months. And all of a sudden, I've just been getting garbage. So uh, let me know what you guys think. And hope you have a great night. Thanks for watching.